Hey, I'm Max. And I'm Josh. We're from Yumi at Six. And we're here to tell you behind our songs. Behind our songs? What is behind Stuff our songs? About behind our songs. What is, what, about, what is behind those songs? Don't There's know. a story behind story our songs. Story behind the songs. There you go, that's what it's called. Well, Swear, I would say, was the initial first song that was written for Night People mm -hmm. and kind of just got us on the, the road to Night People. Yeah. Written, I think, just after we did our festival performance at Isle of Wight in 2015. Um, I think really it was, a, it was kind of a Yumi at Six song, but we kind of tried to do different tricks in the song to take it somewhere else so I think as a guitar point of view I took it in a very crazy sound in guitar world almost Jack White-esque kind of sound um, lyrically it's well it says Jameson it says stuff that I like yeah yeah Jameson I think it's more an antsy song well this the song is quite a, felt for me like it felt like it was always kind of like an up-tempo thing it yeah was an up-tempo song so I was just trying to keep up with that a little bit and as Max said it definitely is one of the songs on Night People that I think sounds you know that has that definitive Yumi at Six sound to it um, and then the middle eight which had a little bit of fun with it. Interesting fact we didn't actually want to release this song as a single but then somebody put a gun to it went do it and then we did it. So obviously when that happens I just for, I think for us it was I can understand why it w went to be a single because it's a Yumi at Six Sound song, but I think with that's exactly why we, why didn't, we didn't want to release this song as a single is because we wanted to kind of like how Night People was the first song released. It was different, you know, it was something that we kind of wanted to showcase different sides of our band and not that it's a bad thing, you know, it, it's connected well with people, that song, but it's just an inside fact of where if you're behind the scenes watching this, you think, oh yeah, Yumi at Six must love that song. Well, actually, it was just like, it wasn't our choice to be a single, was it? And I think people will find that interesting to hear that maybe there would have been other songs that we would have chosen before that being a single run into our album campaign. It was nice in a way that there was a lot of, um, we weren't focusing on what was going on musically with other bands and other artists, because we weren't really looking at our phones as much. Um, and I think it gave a little bit of like, yeah, clarity and headspace. But at the same time, I think, I don't think I'd do it again, just in terms of I think that you forget when you're not on the treadmill, you forget how everybody else is on the treadmill. Do you know what I mean? If you take yourself out of it, you think that there, that isn't, it's, and the internet is something that's happening every day in so many ways. And I think that yeah, you need to be part of that. You don't have, I think balancing it out of not giving too much of yourself away, but giving enough is the fine line. But creatively, it's just something we wanted to do, it wasn't it, just to concentrate on that. Yeah, for us, having the career that we've had, there was like never that time to just kind of be like, right, cool, let's just do us for a little bit. And you can kind of forget what it's like. And I think we all needed to have that moment of just, let's just have a moment. To, enjoy this right now and just write music and whatever comes up comes out and I look at it as a good thing and like Josh said I also look at it as a bad thing you know I think maybe going dark and being silent and not letting people know what we're doing might have been one of the reasons why night people took a little bit longer to come out because the creativity was we had to really run to get there because it was a time it was about a two-year gap where we didn't write anything from Cavalier Youth to start night people and I think that's a bad thing as, a, as a, a creator, a songwriter of any craft that you do, you leave it too long, it's, you've kind of got to build your way back up to where you were again and that was definitely an interesting time because it took maybe two, three months to get a song like Swear to really get the ball rolling in Yumi at six again to be like right we're on that train now let's go and I think, I think honesty is the best policy, I've always said that and I think really I don't think we'll have that much time off again because it's, we've done that bit now after an extensive long run we had a bit of time off but I think for us like Josh said we just want to get on the treadmill again and keep pushing the pace up and up and up now. If is um, I think again was 
happened quite early on when we were writing it. Um, natural. Natural, easy song to write, if that makes sense, uh, in the sense that it was just, it, musically it came together really quickly. Yeah, um, well you had the guitar idea and you just kept playing it over numerous of practices and then we kind of just, one day was like, it sounds really cool actually, let's just sit down and jam it and then all of a sudden an hour later there was this kind of song was done and you know the best songs when you do that it kind of form quickly is sometimes the best songs because it just come just comes so naturally and you don't overthink things and everybody knows what the position is and it's almost like preempting where you're going with a song but you don't need to tell anybody you just naturally go there um i think we from uh the instrument side when we first heard Josh's melody for the chorus, we all knew that that was a special song straight away. Just because that, like, that melody was so infectious when you're walking out of a practice an hour late and you're all singing it, you know that not only the song's good, but the melody's good. And that's what people are gonna walk away from singing. And that's the most important <laughs> part about any song. And I don't really care what anybody says, the vocals and the lyrics are the most important thing to a song because that's how you connect with people. So it was a very, a very fun song to write, play and record. Mm. Just a little bit of a, kind of like you Me at Six, but just kind of went off in a little bit of a different direction. And hopefully there'll be a lot more of that to come.